time class. I think it goes back to so, uh, oh, uh, Dan, bring a couple over here and come on and meet the men, all right? We've got a special guest this evening, Daniel Topler. I was hoping all of you would be agreeable to having him attend some more sessions. Certainly, why not? Uh, Jack, uh, why does a young man like him want to commune with a bunch of uh, old fogies. Morty Mavis, pleased to meet you. Morty is a business consultant. Well, uh, for me, I guess you should all know oh, that... No, Daniel, let me do the introduction, all right? Daniel's a medical student in his first year at Stony Brook for me. And I understand he's considering gerontology as a, you know, <laughs> yeah, as a specialty. <laughs> well, I figured if he met you old guys, I mean, I could possibly discourage him from that. <laughs> so, you're going to be a doctor, is that it? Well, uh... I've been a trader for almost 40 years on Wall Street. And very successfully, too, I might add. I left my firm last month. Well, I'm Rob Vitriol. They asked me to stay, of course. But for what, I ask you? Well, I think maybe... I can trade just as well at home now with the internet, and my time is my own. I mean, do you see what I'm getting at? Yes, you only bore yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn here. Tracy Auspitz. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Tracy was a former deputy administrator for the EPA. Helped draft the U.S. Clean Water Act back in the early yeah. 70s. No kidding. Well, thank God we got some good guys in government. <laughs> well, it sure ain't the majority in Congress. Well, I see Sam Blotkin as being his usual cheery self. His computer programs designed the Verrazano Bridge. Harry Rosenthal. Harry is a former musical director of the Metropolitan Opera. Yeah? Well, I'm David, a PR man with a couple of clients left. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Daniel. I'm Barry, no longer the youngster of this group. Only 60, a baby. But despite his youth, he's a famous classical scholar. Well, now that that's taken care of, what should we begin with first, huh? Well, let's huddle on our main nemesis, our children. Yeah. Don't get me started talking about my child, Chucky. I mean, he's so infantile. Now, I can't speak to him. Or even my granddaughter, Carol, anymore. We used to get together for granddad to granddaughter times. She won't say two words to me now. He's getting divorced, and he's still living at home. It's terrible for Carol. I mean, she's caught between her parents. You can't help. No. I can't help. He's my son. Carol is my granddaughter. And I can't help. I can only watch. Well, at least we're lucky we all have children we can rely on. I don't have any children I can rely on. Morty, you got two grown kids. If you're in trouble, do you call them? You, Jack, you. I'll call if I'm sick, not my children. I hardly talk to them now. You'll remember when I got my mitzvah again? You all were there. Yeah. 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 My kids couldn't believe a hundred people showed up. <laughs> they thought they would be the only ones who would be there. There's your sister you could call if you were ill. I haven't spoken to her in over a year, and forget about my ex. Not on speaking terms. Thank God there's some. <laughs> it's not easy not being the main guy anymore. We all know that by now. End of story. So let's talk about anything else. They don't have a majority of Congress. Well, that goes there again. Well, gentlemen, that does it for tonight. That's it. 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 That's it.